The three best indicators showing how COVID-19 is affecting a population are new cases, hospitalizations, and positivity rate. Here are the new daily cases from the past few months in Dallas County. That dotted line is the 14-day moving average. When you look at this line shape, the number of new cases has been trending up for nearly a month. Same goes for Tarrant County, Collin County, and Denton County. This trend correlates with the number of new daily cases for the entire state. Let's get some more context. Here's the number of total hospitalizations, a statistic that doesn't rely on the number of tests given out. Texas had been trending down for months going into September. That was until this increase in October. Lastly, the seven day positivity rate, which takes into account both the number of positive results and people tested. Texas did see an increase last month. The World Health Organization recommends states getting to 5% before easing restrictions. Texas hasn't reached that since March. The state is now past the 10% threshold. Governor Greg Abbott called a warning flag in September. So while things might not feel as bad as they were in July, these statistics show both North Texas and Texas are dealing with a rise in COVID-19 cases. In Dallas, I'm Jay Wallace.